Lesson 23 homework. Number one, divide then check using multiplication. 9,962 divided by 41. So 41 can't go into 9, so I'll put my 0 above the 9. 41 could go into 99 twice. 2 times 41 is 82. If I subtract, I get 17, and I'll bring down the 6. Now I need to see how many times 41 can go into 176. I think it could, let's see, 40, if I round 41 to 40, 40 times 4 would be 160, so I think that's probably the closest. So 41 times 4 would be 164. If I added another 41, I would get something larger than 176, so that wouldn't work. So I'll put my 4 up there. 4 times 41 was 164. We subtract and get 12, and now I'll bring down the 2. Now I need to see how many times 41 could go into 122. I think it could probably go in, let's try three times. 41 times three, that would be 123. So it must be able to only go in two times. So I'll put my two up there. Two times 41 was 82. Subtract. So we end up with 242 remainder 40. And our check would be 41 times 242. And that is, I'll use my calculator to check, 41 times 242 is 9,922. And 9,922 plus 40 would be equal to 9,962, which is what we started with. So that does check out. Okay, 1,495 divided by 45. So 45 can't go into 1, it can't go into 14, but it could go into 149. I'm going to estimate, start out with 3 times. So 45 times 3 is 135. I couldn't use another 1 or it would be too big. So it can go in 3 times. And that's 135. We subtract and get 12, bring down the 5. 45 can go into 145, again, only three times, because we just saw that times three is 135. So it's gonna be three times, not 145. So three times 45 was 135. We subtract, nothing left to bring down, so we have 33 remainder 10 as our answer and to check we would do 45 times 33 and that is equal to 1485 and 1485 plus 10 which was our remainder would be 1495 and that does match what we started with. 6,691 divided by 28. So 28 can't go into 6, but it could go into 66, I think, twice. Let's see what 28 times 2 is. Yeah, 56, so it can go in twice. If we subtract, we get 10, bring down the 9. 28 could go in probably three or four times. So let's try four just to see if that'll work. Nope, that's too big. 112 is too big because it we, we're looking for 109. So 28 times three is 84. So it can go in three times. That's 84, we subtract, 
and get 25. And last, we need to bring down the 1. So how many times could it go into 251? Well, times 4 was 112. So times 8 would be 224. Let's see if we could do 28 times 9, just to be safe. 8 times 9 is 72. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 7 would be 25, so just too big. 252, and we were looking for 251. So we can only go in 8 times. And 8 times 28 is 224. If we subtract... 11 minus 4 is 7, 4 minus 2 is 2, so we get 238, remainder 27. And then our check would be 28 times 238 is equal to... Six thousand six hundred sixty four and six thousand six hundred sixty four plus our remainder twenty seven is six thousand six hundred ninety one. So that works. That matches what we started with up here. Two thousand six hundred twenty five divided by thirty two. So 32 can't go into 2, it can't go into 26, so we need to see how many times 32 can go into 262. 262 is pretty big. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start with 8. Let's see what 32 times 8 is. Oh, pretty close, 256. If I added another 32, it would be bigger than 262, so that wouldn't work. Uh, so it's gonna be 8, and that's 256. Remainder 6, bring down the 5, 32, how many times can 32 go into 65? Well, let's see, 32 times 2 would be 64, so it could go in twice. So we have 82, remainder 1. So then our check would be 32 times 82 which is equal to 2,624. And 2,624 plus 1 is 2,625. And that does match what we started with, our dividend. 2,409. Divided by 19. So 19 can't go into 2. It could go into 24 one time. If we subtract, we get 5 and bring down the 0. 19 can go into 50, let's see, twice. 2 times 19 is 38. Subtract again. We get 12 and bring down the 9. How many times can 19 go into 129? Let's see, 19, I'll round it to 20. 20 can go into 100 five times, so 129 would be six times. So let's try 19 times six. Six times nine is 54. 11, 114. So it could go in six times. If I added another 19, that would be too big. subtract, get 15, so we have 126, remainder 15. And to check, we would do 19 times 126, That's 2,394. 
plus 15 is 2,409, and that is what we were looking for. All right, 5,821 divided by 62. So 62 can't go into 5, it can't go into 58, so how many times can it go into 582? Uh, let's start with 8. 8 times 6 is 48, 49. Um, we can probably add another 62. Five hundred fifty-eight. All right, so we can go in this eight times plus this one, so nine times. We get five hundred fifty-eight. If we subtract, we get twenty-four and bring down the one, two hundred forty-one. So how many times can sixty-two go into two hundred forty-one? I'm thinking probably four times. Ooh, I was wrong. So it's only going to be three times. So we have ninety three remainder fifty five. And then our check is 62 times 93. That is 5,766. And 5,766 plus 55 is 5,821. So that works. Number two, a political gathering in South America was attended by 7,910 people. Each of South America's 14 countries was equally represented. How many representatives attended from each country? So there were 7,910 people and 14 were each represented equally. So we're going to divide 7,910 divided by 14 to see how many representatives were from each country. 14 can't go into 7 but it could go into 79. Let's try six. 14 times six, that's too big, so it can only go in five times. Five times 14 is 70. Bring down the one, 91. Well, I've already seen that 14 times 6 is 84, and if I went another one, it would be too large. So it can go in 6 times. 6 times 14 is 84. So I would suggest never erasing your work because past multiplication problems can help you in the future and cut down on extra work. 11 minus 4, that is 7. Bring down the 10, and we already know. Six, uh, 14 can go into 70 five times. It's right here. We already did that problem. Nothing left over, nothing to bring down. So there are 565 representatives from each country. A candy company packages caramel into containers that hold 32 fluid ounces. In the last batch, 1,848 fluid ounces of caramel were made. How many containers were needed for this batch? So 1,848 ounces into 32 equal 32 ounces in each container. So let's divide to figure out how many containers they needed. 32 can't go into 1, it can't go into 18, but it can go into 184. Let's try 5 or 6 times. One hundred sixty. so if I did another 32, that's going to be too big. So it can only go in 
five times, and that was 160. Remainder 24, bring down the eight. So how many times can 32 go into 248? Um, let's see, so this was six times. So let's see what um, eight times would be. That's too big, 256. So let's try seven. So the closest we can get is seven times. That's gonna be 224. So we have 24 left over nothing to bring down. So they were able to make 57 remainder 24, but really they needed 57 containers because you can't have remainder 24 of a container.